Hi, my name is Natalie Relich. I'm the Executive Director at Horizons. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about the different completely assembled parts of the wood mold. And so by completely assembled, I mean that you've gone through the section called creating the wood mold in the construction manual. So you've gone through section one, which is cutting the plywood, section two, which is the support construction, all the way down to section nine, which is hardware installation. So these are all of the completed parts. There are 13 um, you know, separate parts of the wood mold. So I'm gonna start with the outer shell um, and then work my way down to the inner core. So the outer core, the outer shell of the wood mold is made up of part A, part B, and then part C and part D. Um, so I'll start with part A first. Um, so part A, um, it has these SMA pieces on it. So does part B. Okay, so they both have the SMA pieces. They should be kind of evenly spaced so there's enough room on both sides. Um, one important thing to note is that uh, the screws in the back here so you want to make sure that the screws are flush with the plywood. So if I were to run my finger over this, right, it's really smooth. It's not sticking out or anything. Um, if it is sticking out, that just means that you'll get um, sort of a screw indentation on your filter, which you probably don't want. Um, so that's really important. Um, Part A also has on it attached uh, part T, which is part of the nose. So you can see part T here is affixed to part A. Um, again, this should be flush here. All right, so this is smooth to the touch this way. It should also be flush here. as well as flush over here. So on both sides and even with part A. Um, there's also the ear pieces right here. This will help keep the nose in place. And then this tube hole is important, so don't forget to drill that as you're making it. And that's where the outlet tube goes through. That's how the water ultimately comes out of the filter. Okay, part C, oops, part C and D are identical. Okay, so these are the same pieces, the same dimensions. So I'm just gonna talk about part C right now, but part C, or part D is the same as part C. Okay, so for these pieces, um, you'll notice that there are two different sized support pieces on them. So, Side up here. Um, so we have SMB. These are the, the medium sized support pieces. So these are at the top and they're across from each other. So both of these pieces are SMB. On the bottom here, we have two SMC pieces. These are the smallest of the support pieces and they're across from each other. Uh, another really important thing about this is that. Uh, these support pieces should be flush with the top of part C. So the support piece here is flush with the plywood. And it's flush on the side as well. So going like this, right, it should be even. So it should be smooth all the way across. The same goes for the SMC pieces on both sides, so smooth here. And then, right, smooth here again, and flush on the bottom. Okay, so flush on the top, flush on the bottom, and then flush on all four sides of the support pieces. Okay, so that, are the, those are the main pieces of the outer core. Um, 
The other piece of the outer core is part S and part R. So these are separate pieces that you then attach together. Um, again, we have some more um, important pieces that are flush. So R is flush with S. Should be flush here and it should be flush on both sides here. So here it should be flush and then again on the opposite side it should be flush here. And then you have another SMA piece which is the longest support piece holding these together. And again you have two ear pieces. Those are there to hold the nose on. Okay, so this is the nose, part U and part V, um, and it goes on like this. Okay, so these ear pieces are here to keep the nose from moving once you pour the concrete in. That's why it's important that these ear pieces are placed properly so that the nose doesn't, it can't really move around that much. So, uh, the nose, uh, it's made of a part U and part V. Uh, part U is longer than part V. That's how it's supposed to be. Um, again, flush right here. And again, flush on the bottom and the top. So it makes a nice little you know, kind of V shape. Uh, really important are the angle cuts. So there are 45 degree angle cuts on both sides here. And those are really important. They help um, the nose rest right against the plywood so that your nose comes out looking um, all even and clean. Okay, this is the base. So this goes on the ground when you're assembling uh, the mold to pour a filter. Um, something that is different than some other biosyn filters is this is not square, okay? This is actually 35 centimeters by 36 centimeters, so it's not a perfect square, and your filter will also not be a perfect square. So it's a little bit different than if you were using um, the steel mold, so it's just important to note. Um, these X's and W's, um, they are what hold the inner core in place, so your inner core will go here, and then those outer shell pieces that I just talked about, A, B, C, D, go around here. So the thickness of these pieces will correspond to the thickness of the walls um, of your biosyn filter. So if one of these is thinner than another one, that means that the wall um, in your biosyn filter will be thinner than the other one. So it's just something to, to keep in mind as you're um, making these pieces. Okay, part P is the dagger board. Uh, this is what goes inside the inner core and holds it in place. Um, it's just a rectangle. We didn't add any draft to ours, but you could. So by draft, I mean um, the top part, it should go in a little bit, just only by a couple millimeters um, if you wanted to. You can also add soap on the edges here before you put it in the mold and before you pour a filter. That sometimes makes it easier um, to remove. Uh, the hole is here uh, for demolding. So usually what we do is you'll tie a rope around this uh, and then use the rope and like some sort of lever usually just a long piece of scrap wood to pull this out. And that's what starts the demolding process. Okay, parts E and F, again, these are identical. So on this particular one, part E, we have attached to it J and H, which means that on part F, we have G and I. So these four pieces should be identical, just like parts E and F should be identical. So I'm just going to talk about part E right now, but part F, um, the same thing goes with part F. So um, a couple, this is probably one of the most 
complicated but most important pieces. Um, so there's some angle cuts on here um, that can be um, tricky. So in the manual we denote the angle cuts with an exclamation mark enclosed in a circle. Uh, we also have it in red font so that you really are paying attention. Um, so there is an angle cut on all three of these pieces. So both sides of E and um, both this side and this side, there's an angle cut. And along the sides of these two pieces, there's an angle cut. Okay, so there's an angle cut here and here, right? And they're identical, so they're both facing in. And then here and here, there's an angle cut. Okay, so angle cut's super important. Um, the other thing is the hinges. So um, what you want is um, these pieces J and H to be just a little bit offset of this side of part E. So it's not totally flush, and that's what you want. So you want this a little bit offset. Okay, you don't want it perfectly flush. That will make it much more difficult to remove um, these pieces after you've poured concrete in them. So just, you're gonna see this is just like a millimeter. It's just off just a little bit from this piece rather than be perfectly against it. Um, what is flush is the top here, right? So if I'm going like this across, right, that's perfectly in line with each other. Same thing with the other side, and you want the same thing for the bottom of the piece as well. You want it to be totally flush. These pieces on the side, they're a little bit off, but on the top and the bottom, things are flush. Um, the other two pieces of the inner core are made up um, of several pieces. So this is part L along with part M, and then two Y pieces. This is the exact same piece. It's just part K, part N, and then Y1 and Y2. So these are the exact same piece. So again, we have some more angle cuts. So part L and part K get angle cuts on both sides again. So you can see like that going in. Part M and part N, they don't have angle cuts, so these are straight. Um, the Y's, this is where the dagger board goes in. So when you're put it, placing the Y's on your piece here, you want to make sure that your dagger board fits. Right? You want to make sure that it can slide in and out um, pretty easily. Um, again, with the screws, you want to make sure that the screws aren't sticking out, because if they are, then your dagger board would get stuck and you don't want that. Okay, and the last piece is the lid. So the lid goes on top of the inner core. This is part O. Uh, a couple things going on here. Um, there are angle cuts on all four sides of this piece. You can see, right, there's an angle cut here, here. It's all, they're all the same cut degree-wise. This is part O. Um, on the inside, you have the four Z pieces. This is what holds the other four pieces of the inner core in place. They'll rest against here. Um, this bolt and this nut are really, really important to this piece. So you drill a hole in here um, and you put the bolt through uh, and then you want the nut to sit halfway. We, we talk about this in the manual, but just to reiterate it, uh, you want the nut to sit halfway and that's because when you're demolding, you use the claw of a hammer to pull this out. And if it's down too far, you won't be able to get any leverage. So really important that this sits halfway and isn't all the way tightened. Uh, the last thing is there should be a hole for the tube here. Okay, you can see it better on this side. So don't forget about that hole. Remember there is one um, on part A, or part T rather, which is attached to part A, there was a tube hole. And then the other tube hole is here. And so that's important when you're pouring the filter. Okay, so those are all 13 pieces of the wood mold.
Um, please check out some more of our other videos to see you know, how to actually assemble the wood mold to make a filter. Thanks.